Alright, I've been slacking on these kind of videos completely. I know I have and I do apologise, but why not just try and bring them back? The Jordan 1 Seafoam dropped about last week and <laughs> this is a very special shoe. A lot of people slept on this trainer, sneaker, whatever we want to call it. And I can only take that as a good sign, especially when it's a Jordan 1 high um, and it's a colorway that's very clean. I've managed to pick up one, two, three, four, five, seven shoes on the regular sizing. I picked up two PS sizing of the higher sizing. So I picked up two 2.5 wise so that's uk2 because usually around that area that uk2 sorry that us2 y to 3y um is still considered kind of a gs pair because a lot of shorter girls will be wearing those kind of shoes this is a very clean shoe the color blocking is perfect on it you got the white and you've got kind of that green teal color coming out around the toe box right on the back right at the bottom and it just works so well and what sizes did i get i got like us7 to US 9, this obviously dropped in women's sizing. So a US 7 is a UK 5.5 or 4.5, my apologies. And the reason I went for those sizing, I mean, all of them are decent, but the reason I went for those sizing is because I can imagine females wearing this more, especially around that size. So that's why I picked up these. Currently resale is literally, depending on if you can sell on a local place, is decent much money. Aside from that, if you sell it on StockX, um, Alias Go, Eclect, Lace, wherever, you will get some profits, but it's gonna be minor, minor lunch money. But these are genuinely a good hold. Like, the colorway is clean, it screams summer vibes, um, and it comes with two sets of laces. Um, so you get the standard lace, which is on it already, which is kind of white, but it's got kind of this brown edges to it. I'm not a big fan of that, but the main lace, which comes with it. Actually, no, wait, three laces, one about. You get the green, but the main one is the, the white one. When you wrap these around in the white lace, they look so clean. And that is one of the reasons why these are going to do decent numbers. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna go up and become a four, 500 pound shoe, because that's not possible, but you will be getting more profit to then what you are getting now. And that is genuinely something, that's the whole concept of holding shoes. The only time, this is a disclaimer as well, the only time I recommend going for them um, well, as if you've got them and if you're still thinking about returning them or just selling them on, or if you're going to try and purchase pairs um, to hold, these are only going to be a good hold if you have the capital. If you don't have money to hold shoes, it's not worth it with these ones because they're not going to go up that much. But let's break down some numbers and actually go through exactly how much I think these are going to be worth for in the future. So currently, like, the last selling price on StockX, which is going to use that as the full print for this, was £188. That is the last price that that sold and that was a US 7W. No, nope, I'm lying, it's a US 11W, so it's one of the higher sizes. The last US 7W was 177, so still kind of around that frame. So let's say you could probably get 150 to 185 roughly right now. But in the future, I can easily see these being a 250 pound shoe regardless of anything. Pre-sales before the shoe actually dropped was around 250 to 300 and obviously pre-sales obviously do dip down as pairs come in and people start quick selling them but these held steady as the prices dipped it didn't dip too hard like it didn't go below retail as what a lot of people were thinking so you can still make lunch money on these but if you can hold and I highly recommend holding time frame probably six months at least a year till next summer because that is when the actual prices are going to peak that is when you're going to be getting your 200 pound plus Profit because profit that's when you be able to sell them for 200 pound plus 250 hopefully will be the ideal sweet spot 220 at least that's where I think these are going to be at next year that is almost a hundred quid profit almost if it does hit that 250 today because retail on these was 145 but that is still fairly decent the PS sizing retail was 60 quid um, and they're selling for around about 90 but they can easily go up to about 130 140 easily maybe 150 that one i'm a bit skeptical about the only reason i've just got those is because it's around that area around that kind of size and i can sell those easily especially locally but i will try and stick to the main core sizes that us 7w all the way to that 12w those are the sizes you want to try and focus on but yeah if you got that money i would highly highly recommend to try and buy these off 
anyone that's got them, anyone that's just trying to quick sell them, try and make a quick buck, have a look at Facebook Marketplace, Depop, wherever you can, wherever your local marketplace is, and try and cop those nice, nice, easy sales. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I think these are decent. Um, I'm surprised, obviously, straight off the bat, it didn't do as well as it should have, but they will do well over time. And that is something that I'm a firm believer in. So if you can, obviously, do try and cop them. But if you've got them already and you want to make quick money, go ahead and sell them. But if you can, try and hold them that is a lot to say and it's a bit confusing but that's how it works in this game obviously at the end of the day this is already what i think is going to happen and it's not a guarantee so it is at your own risk at the end of the day but i'm holding seven pairs that's how confident i am with them so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you guys did enjoy hit the like button subscribe if you're new around here um and i guess i'll catch you lot in my next one